Welcome back everyone. I'm Katie Legrone with the Florida 24 Network. More than four months after an oceanfront condominium crumbled to the ground in Surfside, killing nearly 100 and stunning even the most experienced engineers. I speak to one of those engineers investigating the cause of this historic collapse, where the investigation stands and why this case is still baffling the experts. 133 days later, the site of what used to be the Champlain South Condominium along a pretty stretch of beach in Surfside remains an empty, flattened crater of questions and mysteries. Are we any closer to finding out what caused the Champlain Tower South to crumble? No, I have eight zillion ideas, but no, there's no real inkling at all. Leading structural engineer Alan Kilsheimer is part of the team of national experts working to determine what caused the overnight collapse that resulted in the heartbreaking deaths of 98 men, women, and children. There was a trigger that started this thing from happening. It's known the 40-year-old building had its share of design flaws and structural concerns, from major structural damage found in the garage and under the pool deck, to chipping and eroded concrete, just to name a few. But whether those issues were enough to bring the building down. There could have been many, many things that alone look bad, sound bad, but didn't cause it to start collapsing. But you don't know that, not at this point, because I don't know that at this point in time. Finding cause in any structural failure is timely and complicated, but for this world-renowned expert whose structural probes include the Pentagon after 9-11 and the FIU pedestrian bridge collapse, the tragedy in Surfside is presenting a new set of challenges. This is the most atypical situation I've been involved in in, in, in all my years. That's because four months later, Kilsheimer, who was hired by the town to investigate, still hasn't received access to most of the data and debris needed for answers. Those are really critical for us to see and measure and test. Put simply, there's a lot of players involved, lawyers, courts, and then the feds who are leading the investigation. More frustrating? That would be an understatement. About a week ago, he got access to what's left of the basement and some debris off site. This month, he hopes to spend three weeks testing on and off site. But for now, what caused the residential building to just fall, taking nearly everyone inside with it, remains a matter of guess theory, and few facts. I don't know any more than I'm saying now. Kilsheimer still expects to release his findings before the year anniversary of this collapse. Meantime, on Monday, the National Institute of Standards and Technology will be providing an update into its investigation, but makes it clear, no conclusions. Katie Legrone, Florida 24 Network.